So today we're going to talk about an amazing bounce back from near extinction and the snakes across the road. What's up everyone and welcome to Wednesday's edition of Reptile News. Now I'm going to stop right here and, and point something out. You have no idea the urge that I just had a few moments ago to say welcome to your daily dose of Reptile News. For those of you that are new to this channel, that's something I used to say because I used to film the show daily and um, that became a struggle with, with family and work and everything and not only that but just the lack of things to talk about that became a struggle. However, I do have to tell you that the voting poll on the website, go check it out, dailyreptilenews.com, upper right hand corner, um, is winning for doing the show seven days a week again. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, but that's winning. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. And we're going to start off today in New South Wales, where the Pacific Highway was shut down momentarily by police for an awkward reason. So apparently officers witnessed a snake attempting to cross the highway so they shut the highway down and allowed safe passage for this snake i'm not sure what snake it was but the um the officers were actually greeted with um a, quite a bit of positivity from from locals on the the actions that they took to make sure the snake crossed the highway and some even poked jokes at them saying that they should hire the snake that way it can be a public serpent so yeah that was a thing from new south wales pretty pretty awesome news you just don't uh, normally you hear about people that swerve to hit snakes but you don't hear about authorities shutting down a highway to allow them to cross so awesome news from over there and that's why there are bamps of the day and now we're going to move on to an absolutely amazing story coming out of the galapagos islands where see now back in 1960s the uh tortoises the galapagos tortoises on pinzon if that's how you pronounce it i'm sorry i don't know in the wild they counted less than 100 individuals now in 1960 ish conservation efforts kind of kicked off and in 2012 they started um I don't know, using like helicopter, they were doing like poison drops to get rid of the rats. And basically what happened is um, human interaction is what always happens when um, we have issues with wildlife like this. And basically go far back in history and ships stopping at the islands introduced rats on the islands, which devastated the nests of these tortoises. It, it pretty much ate every baby tortoise and egg that they found in sight. And these poison drops on the islands have uh, successfully eradicated the rats apparently. And you know, it, it's amazing because usually when you hear about aerial poison drops on a very sensitive ecosystem like that, you, you know, I, I mean, I don't have a, a big background in biology or anything, just a small interest. But when I hear stuff like that, I'm like, no, no, don't do it. But apparently in this case, it worked. And back in December, James Gibbs apparently went and counted 300 tortoises, 10 of those being hatchlings, which is amazing. They're saying these are the first hatchlings recorded out in the wild in over 100 years. So that is absolutely amazing information coming out about the Galapagos tortoises. I, I hope they just continue because they're just amazing creatures um, no matter what. And I've never seen one and I think they're amazing. I've just read about them a very, very little bit. And now we're going to talk about some super happy fun time stuff. If you missed it, Brandon Fowler put out a video on rehoming his blue tongue skink. Harper, our blue tongue skink. I have to give a big, big thank you to Zilla, our sponsors, for sending us all that cool stuff. So we get a lot of stuff from Zilla, and they really help us out and support us, so thank you. Not not like rehoming, like like sending it away, but making a new home out of stuff that his sponsor sent him so that it's a pretty awesome video i really enjoyed it and actually some of the th those cages are just amazing and then on top of that one soft kiss put out a video just hanging out with a pretty beautiful looking big albino corn snake so i recommend everybody click that link down in the description and go watch those videos they're absolutely amazing they're great people in our hobby and i'm honored to help support them even a little bit if I can. And now we're gonna move on to a little segment I like to call Channel, Channel update. update. So I don't really have an update today. I guess we can hit on uh, a thing or two 
about oh here, here's here, here's an update hey you guys this is an old one it's kind of a bad example because it's been worn a lot but i do still sell drn gear the band stupid not snake shirts um the will work for prey item shirt that's one of that's one of the popular ones go check out the website if you'd like to get yours and um back to what i was saying before i saw the reflection of my shirt in the camera there um so i used to for those of you that haven't followed the the show for a long long time many many years ago i uh, did it every single day that's where the word or the name sorry daily reptile news came in and since then it's actually been suggested that i change the name because it's no longer daily and more recently the review of the drn channel by nick namin suggested that if i'm going to be named daily i need to do it daily and i understand all that my biggest fear um in that is for people that don't understand how the internet works and i really don't understand how the internet works either is i built a brand under that drn name and um i'm scared to death to try to change it like that i i i mean when when people hear the name some people think of it positively I, I i hope i know some people think of it negatively too some people do not like me or what i do at all but that's okay that, that that's gonna happen but um like i said the poll on the website so far seven days a week is is winning and um i'll tell you just between you and me don't tell anybody i don't think i could do seven days a week i don't want to do seven days a week that's a lot of work and i'm not even sure that the reptile news industry the news coming out on reptiles could handle something like that i think we would just be talking about a bunch of trivial crap that nobody really cares about which i guess is most of the case most of the time considering some of the uh viewing numbers lately but yeah that's where we're at now so let me know click that link in the description and go vote on the website maybe i'll put a poll up on the facebook page as well and that my friends has been all your news for this wednesday if you'd like to read any more about these stories those links are right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is jason white now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other and we'll see you friday